Hey guys. Welcome back to the vlog. How you doing? How you living? Mad lucky family. What's up guys? Welcome back to the vlog. So let me tell you guys what's been going on. If you have looked at the title of this video, you know what to expect. I have secured the location for my very first vending machine placement. I'm hyped, I'm hyped, pat myself on the back. I was honestly so hyped. I'm still hyped, there's a lot happening. So let me fill you guys real quick on what, on what has transpired. So you guys saw the last video um, where I thought I was gonna have my very first location. I went to the gym, it turned out to be a bust. It just ended up not at all being what I was hoping for for my first location. So I went back to the drawing board and I kept cold calling. That is my method of choice. And ironically, when I first started cold calling, one of the first places I called um, was an office builder, or was a co-working space, and the guy was interested. Uh, he told me to send him an email and that he'd get back to me. So I sent him the email, but he never got back to me and I just didn't sort of think anything of it. And then the gym happened and another location that I didn't get happened and I remember to follow up with the initial guy that I spoke with. Fast forward to me following up with him, he was like, oh yeah, I'm still super interested, can you come in tomorrow? I uh, went to the office building, met up with the guy, and we vibed super hard. I'm going to drop in a clip of what transpired after my meeting with him so you can kind of see what happened that day. What happened was is I went to my third location meeting today um, and I wasn't sure if I was going to record it because the first two have not been like the best or amazing and I haven't secured the locations, but today I am happy to announce that I have secured my very first vending location. I'm so freaking excited. Um, it's in an office space. Uh, technically, it's like a co-working space on the third floor. Um, but he was just like, I think this could be so beneficial that uh, you should just put it on the in the lobby of the building overall. So now it's just going to be sitting in the lobby of the building. I cannot wait. I met with the owner and vibed with him for at least like an hour and a half. We just realized we had so much in common and he just really liked the idea overall so he was super supportive so I've got to give you guys some updates on that but I just wanted to say holy shit I finally secured a location and I'm so excited and it's time to actually get a vending machine and like life is happening so well as you can see um, I was able to secure the location with this co-working space put it in the office lobby which I am just insanely excited about so what has happened since then let me update you guys so since I secured that location uh, with a contract I might add um, I was speaking with the owner trying to figure out what sort of machines we should do so initially I was gonna do a combo machine there's plenty of space though so I talked to him I thought about it a little bit more um, and my thought was if this location ends up being amazing um, I'm gonna need to swap out that combo machine and buy another machine I don't have money to just be buying all the machines right now so I decided to just make the initial investment to get a so a snack machine and a drink machine separately. So um, I've been in contact with the vending machine supplier. So I've decided not to just not to go the um, regular use route of just like buying from someone off Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist or OfferUp. I know those are all great strategies, um, but for me personally, I'm not. I don't want the headache of um faulty equipment i don't want the headache of something not working the way it's supposed to so i decided to go through the route of a vending machine supplier someone a company who just has a warehouse full of vending machines they know how to fix them they know how to work them you get a warranty with it stuff like that so um that's exactly what i did i reached out to this company called Vending Concepts. Um, they are in the Dallas-Fort Worth area and they also have a location in Houston, which is where I am. So that's how we were able to connect. Um, and so I'm using them to purchase both of my machines. Uh, they've been so super, super helpful. They're setting up the machines for me. They're installing card readers on both of the machines. I'm going with a NIAX card reader, which I'm super excited about. Um, so that's all happening. Those machines are being prepared and I'm gonna take you guys with me today to go look at the machines. So let's go, come on. 
Yo guys, so we are in the car. I'm dropping Bianca off someplace and then I am headed to the vending machine supplier, which I'm super excited about. Um, I'm hopefully gonna bring you guys in with me so you can like see what the warehouse looks like, get a feel for the machines, see which machines I bought. Um, I purchased an um, automatic products snack machine and a Dixie Narco uh, drink machine so I'm super excited to like get into the details of those and see like how to work these things because I have no clue so i um, gonna bring you guys along and hopefully you guys enjoy so let's go all right guys made it to the warehouse let's look at this machine eh? da -da -da -da. there's a snack machine Super excited about this. So this is a APLCM2. We got our NIAX card reader right here. Uh, bill acceptor here. Uh, got keys in this thing. And then a uh, drink machine right here. Ooh, ooh. This one is a Dixie Narco 501E. Uh, like I said, same card reader, uh, bill acceptor, and we got our machine selects. So we're gonna get a quick um, tutorial from Matthew, who runs this company, Vending Concepts, and then I'll show you guys more. Just like that. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. 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 And um, also in these drinks, in each column has a sold out panel. This tells the column whether or not the drinks have product or not. Right. However, it will store one row at, at the very bottom of it getting this full full training in right now guys this is super exciting um we're about to learn how to load this snack machine um it's it's a beast look at this guy so i'm super pumped all right guys so we had an uh, fantastic time checking out the vending machines working with um, Matt who's just been like super super helpful thankfully um, but one thing that he reminded me of while I was sitting in that training session was that I have to have uh, coins for this machine and I do not currently have that so I am headed to the bank right now to go get some coins see if I can just knock this out real quick so I can be prepared for tomorrow it's already about 3 30 so I'm just trying to make sure I get everything I need before tomorrow morning because they're dropping off the machines on location at 10 a.m. So I just want to be sure that I got all my stuff together. I got all my ducks in a row. So quick stop to the bank and then I will let you guys know what's up. All right, world. So the update is we've got lots and lots of coins. I went and I went to the bank real quick and I got uh two rolls of quarters two rolls of nickels two rolls of dimes for both of my machines um so i'm super pumped i am um now i'm feeling prepared for tomorrow so i gotta get that and then i actually have to like go buy my snacks i don't think i um i don't think i said that i don't have any snacks yet so i'm gonna go do that tonight so you guys will also be coming along for that there's a lot happening today can you feel it in the air all right, guys, we are back at it. This time we've added Bianca to the mix. Say hi, baby. Hi. Um, and now we're finally headed to Costco to finally get some products to put in these two beautiful machines that we now have of all the actual products that I need to get to place in the machine. So uh, chips or pastries, what kind I plan on getting. Um, and I have a, a whole like Excel doc that I'll show you guys, but it just kind of lands with uh, size, like the machine quantity, um, like my profit margin and stuff. I'm trying to understand how all of this works. So I'm trying to be organized with it as well. So we're gonna head to Costco. We're going to buy some stuff, probably way too much. Um, and I'm really excited. You excited? I'm excited. BB. More snacks. BB's excited. So, oh, so I, I saw on the internet streets mm -hmm. that obviously people say, once they're involved in the vending machine industry, they say turning snacks into stacks. But I also <laughs> saw cute. somebody else say he was turning cans into bands, and I was Ooh, like, I, I like, like that. that. Yeah, so I'm gonna start using that, turning cans into bands. Cans make a dance. Nah, but okay, so we're pulling up to Costco right now, so we'll check back in with you guys when we get there. We made it to Costco heaven, y'all. Let's go get some. 
we found the soda. Had to put Honey to work. She's stronger than me. So we gotta get Coke, Diet Coke. We gotta get Sprite. We gotta get Dr. Pepper. All right guys, so here's the damage so far. We don't have everything. We're gonna need to run to the grocery store after this to see um, what other stuff we can yeah, get. Yeah. We got some snackies and we got some drinkies. All right guys, so we finally made it back home. We have been shopping for hours. Um, we literally were shopping for like three hours. Um, we went to a few different stores because one store absolutely did not have everything we need. So we went to Costco's, we got some stuff. But Costco's near us just did not have what I thought it would have. So I literally walked out of there with like, I don't know, maybe like six things or whatever, but it just wasn't what I was hoping for. So we went to Costco, we went to, we went to Walmart, we went to HEB, um, and I still look, and we went to Target. And we went to Target the last time because I was trying to find water. I've been trying to find like a case of water that's not like a flimsy bottle for the longest. The dude at the uh, vending machine place was like stressing about the water bottle. He was like, if you get like flimsy ones, they'll kind of get deformed in the machine. So you gotta get a specific bottle. So I'm like literally on the hunt for a sturdy water bottle that's not gonna cost me an arm and a leg. Um, so that's the only thing I'm missing. But outside of that, we got everything. So um, I'm super excited. Tomorrow morning, things are happening. Uh, the machines are getting delivered at 10 a.m. So I'll be up bright and early, um, just getting everything ready, bringing you guys along, showing you the spa, yada da I mean. It's gonna be so lit. Um, but all right, I will catch you guys tomorrow when we um, are setting up the machines on the location. Yo guys, good morning, good morning. Today is the day, baby. I'm super, super excited. I've been up since like 7-ish a.m. Um, the machine is being placed on location today at 10 a.m. It's about 9.15 or so. I'm about to head out of the house, head to the location right now. Um, but the moment's here, let's go do this. All right, guys, there she blows. Those are my babies. Getting ready to get loaded up. Bianca and I are loading up the um, wagon, getting the drinks ready first. Um, and then, you know, we're gonna start loading these machines up. So let's see. Ah, I got the keys. I got the keys, keys, keys. I got the keys, keys, keys. Nice, nice shirt. Thanks. It's my first day on the job. Nice bag. Thanks. It's part of my uniform. <laughs> A little rearranging. We just got our drink machine installed. Baby's filming for social. <laughs> I'm filming for the vlog. Y'all getting this content is all I know. Okay guys, it took a minute, but look at what we have here. She's all done. Babe, we gotta think of names for these. Look at, um, she over here eating product. Yeah, that's good, Sue. Snacks to stacks. 
we're all done. We just had our first customer come by actually. He's a little kid. I'm gonna put a clip in of what just happened. It's so cute. This one. Done, we set her up. We're saying goodbye. Let's get it. Woo! We made it. We made it. We made it. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here because honestly, I'm so tired. That took not a ton of time, but it took more than a half an hour. Let me tell you that. Um, but I feel so happy. I feel so proud of myself. I'm like, it's not a I don't know, for some people, maybe this isn't a big deal, but for me, I've been talking about getting a vending machine, starting a vending machine business company for like almost two years now. So it is, it's such a gratifying feeling that like it's happened right now. Um, it would make me so freaking happy. We've done all this, you guys have watched the videos. Please, please, please subscribe to the channel, y'all. Leave a comment, drop me some love below. Your girl did it, I'm very happy. Um, I'm just, I'm very proud of myself. So let's get this page going. We're about to make this YouTube page pop in. There's a lot, there's a lot more content that's about to happen. You feel me? It's, it's, we're gonna elevate a little bit. So stay tuned to the channel. Thank you guys for checking out. If you guys have any questions or comments or whatever, hit them down below. I'll, I'll definitely respond back. So thank you guys again, and I'll see you on the next vlog.